Spirit. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to live the life that he called me to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Put down the stuff. Put down the stuff and think. Put your mind on Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on out of that world. Put your mind on Jesus. So we can touch the Yes, Lord. I was losing. 
my mind. Because he didn't say it once in more than once. And I said, come out, my child. But God is the reward of faith in this. I want to go over this. Yeah. I want to read second. Uh, I want to read first Corinthians, and then I'm going to sit down and let y'all have y'all way. Glory to God. First Corinthians 10, chapter 31, verse. It says, There, whether therefore he eat or drink, or whatsoever he do, do it all for the glory of God. Whatever we do, yeah. make sure, make sure. It's glorifying God. I'll give, make sure it is. Yes. If it's feeding people, if it's whatever, yes. let it be glorifying the king. Yes. And I'm telling you, you're going to have great success and you're going to have peace in your inner man because why? You are glorifying the king. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Yes, you are. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. My, my cheese. My cheese.
Good evening. Good evening. First giving honor to God who's the head of my life. Yes. And I want to thank you all for coming out. I know I ain't going to do Thank you. Lord. Thank you. But I'm going to attempt to read from Ephesians mm. 4, mm -hmm. 11 through 13. All right. Yeah. You may stand and read the word. Yes, Lord. Mm. 11 says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists mm -hmm. and some pastors and teachers for the profession of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edification of the body of Christ. Yes, Lord. Till we all come in the united unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God mm -hmm. until a perfect man, unto the measures of the structure of the fulfillment of Christ. I read you mm. Ephesians 4, 11 and 13. May Amen. God have a blessing to the reader, the hearer, and doers of his holy word. Amen. 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 Amen.
blessings we ask. Your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. Jesus Christ. And let's just 
Get into the spirit. Amen. You know, Amen. not just sit here and watch and just look. Let's get into Amen. the spirit. Amen. And let God use you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to ask her, um, my yeah. daughter, she come around and come lead this song for us tonight. <clears throat>
And sit down and talk to her every now and then. Oh, we was talking one morning, sitting on the floor drinking a cup of coffee. She said, son, they used to come by and get me every now and then to take me to Bible study. Oh, they used to come by and pick me up and bring me to church. She said, but they don't do that anymore. She said, but that's all right. She said, one of these old days, that's going to be a meeting way over yonder. She said, we won't have to cry no more. And she looked at me with tears in her eyes. That old lady began to say something like,
Father God, we stop by and just say thank you at this hour. Father God, look at those that wanted to give and could not give it. Father God, bless them in a special way. You count on those that gave and gave them their heart. Throw up and arms around them at this hour. Father God, look at these coins and this paper in your eyesight. Bless it where it could be used for the building of your kingdom. Father yes. God, these men are the blessings we have here, son, Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. amen.
Man. Hallelujah. Thank you. I don't have to do much introducing. All right. Come on. Because she is a woman of God. Her life speaks for itself. Yes. Yeah. And she loves. All right. She'll help you. Come on. And all you got to do is pick up the phone and call her. Yes, Lord. No. I thank God for her. Yeah. I mean, she's a great woman of God. Man. She just happened to be my cousin. <laughs> and I thank God for her. Because she has really helped me. Man. And I thank God Man. for you. And it's nothing but up because for you. Hallelujah. Nothing but up. Amen. God is going to take. Bless her. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. This is your season. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm so proud to call you my cousin. I'm so proud of you. Yes, Lord. Just don't know. All right. The woman God has made you become. Man, man. You keep on for Jesus. Yes, Lord. No further ado, this is my cousin, Patricia. Amen. 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 Let your glory fill this place. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. With a new Come on. Yes, and fresh. Yes, Lord. A fresh anointing. Right now. Let your glory fill this place. Yes. Let your glory fill this place. Let your glory fill this place with a new and fresh, a fresh anointing. Let your glory fill this place. Let your power fill this place. We need your power to fill this place Hallelujah. Hallelujah. with a new and fresh, a fresh anointing. Let your power fill this place. Let your presence fill this place. Come on, let's lift your hands. Let your presence fill this place with a new and fresh a fresh anointing let your presence fill this place let your presence fill this place Lord we are open to you God yes, let your presence fill Sanctified hands. Yes, 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 and 
and let's welcome the presence of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? No matter what you face on today, no, what, no matter what the enemy tried to do at the beginning of this year, he said in his word that he never left you, nor he never forsaken you. He just inhabits the praises of his people. He loved it when, he, when you could call on him. Jeremiah 33 and 3 say, Call on me, and I will answer and, answer and show you. Uh, come on, here, somebody great and mighty things. How many of you, you got to call on him right now? Not because you need anything, just because you want to be in his presence. Come on, here, somebody. Just to say, God, I just appreciate you. God, if you never do nothing else for me, you did more than enough right now. Just let me just suck what you got. I'm calling on you because I want to see great and mighty things. I'm not satisfied at the place that I'm at, but I'm calling on you, Lord. I'm not calling on Buddha. I'm not calling on Muhammad, but I'm calling on you, God. Because you promised me that if I call on you, you're going to show me great and mighty things. So that means while I'm calling on you, I got to get in the spirit. the Lord yes, yes. in the beauty of holiness. Yes, yes. Oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you Lord. I've learned Thank you, Lord. when you praise him yes, Lord. and when you let him have his way it's not hard to bring a message yes, because the atmosphere has been set. Yes, I don't have to pull or tug on nobody because the atmosphere is set yes, because the presence of the Lord is here. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory because we honor you. Because it's all about you, God. And we thank you. We thank you that you have met every need, God. Lord, we have come before you with a spirit of expectation. God. We want to go just a little bit higher. Yes, Lord. We say yes to your will and yes to your way, God. We move everybody and everything out the way, God. And Lord, show yourself strong, God. God, I ask that, Lord, you would use me for your glory, God. Speak through me, God. Continue to allow me to hear what the Spirit is saying to your people on today, God. Lord, we will be careful to give you all the glory on, and all the honor, which is due your holy name. Yes. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Protocol has been established. Come on, I'm ready for the word. Because yeah. the word got to come to me first before it come to uh, anybody else. Yes. For your glory. Yes. And it's coming from 1 Corinthians 10 and 31. Oh. It says, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, Come on, do it all to the glory of God. Yes, yes. But I want to focus on that, do it all to the glory of God. Yes. That's what I'm focusing on. The glory of God is the beauty of his spirit. Yes. Oh. It is not a material beauty. But the one that comes from his character mm -hmm. and from all that he is, mm -hmm. that represents the glory. Yes. Although the glory of man, human man, mm -hmm. it fades away. Yeah. Like in 1 Peter says, 1 and 24, for all flesh is as grass mm -hmm. and the glory of man as the flower. The grass withered and the flower thereof falleth away. Mm -hmm. 
but the glory of God, which is manifested in everything we do, never passes away. It is eternal. Come on here, somebody. The concept of glorifying him is that you is you is putting him on high esteem with your life. Oh, come on, here, somebody. Y'all don't walk with me with this. Everything I say, glorify God. Everything I touch, glorify God. Everything I wear, because y'all see, I got this on, but the Lord told me for to wear white on tonight. It will glorify Him. Everything I say, will and share, even how I act, come on here, somebody, shall glorify my God. Because when you glorify God, you got to watch this. The glory of God upon your life, listen to me well, attracts demonic attacks. Oh, y'all gonna get this. And when the demonic attack attacks you, you have to make up your mind whether or not you gonna fall into the attack or you gonna rise up out of the attack. Oh, come on here. Oh my God. When God utilizes the gifts within you, you must know it is not you. Come on here. God can use anybody. You ain't got to have a title. He can use a baby. But it's says, God will not share his glory with no one. He is a jealous God. He said, I am the Lord. That is my name, he said, and my glory will I not give to another. Come on, come on. And also God will not allow us to take the credit for what he does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even through our own wisdom. Man. Come on here somebody. <laughs> our own gift because gifts and callings is without a gift. Anybody can have a gift. Yeah. But do you have the anointing and the approval of God yeah. on the gift? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Right. up in here Holy yeah. Ghost. Yeah. God deserves all the praise. Yeah. And all the honor. Yeah. For what he do through you. Oh my God. King Herod made the mistake <laughs> of trying to take the glory from God. He was wearing these wrong robes and he sat up and he was making a big thing and everything. And the people shouted the voice of God and not of me. And then immediately the angel came and struck him down. And he was eaten by worms and he died. Why? Because he took the glory of God. Come on here. Taking the glory of God is a dangerous thing. You are playing Russian roulette with your life. Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, I'm going just a little further. Lucifer. Oh, a beautiful angel. Oh, baby, he think he couldn't be touched. He wanted to override God. And what happened to him? God kicked him out of hell. Oh, come on here, somebody. A side journey, a side journey right here. Don't you ever get to the place in your spiritual walk to the point to where you can only receive from certain people. Don't you ever get to that point. Because you should be spiritually matured. Come on here, somebody. And have a king to and have a king discernment to know what's God and what's not of God. And people of God, many people are missing the blessing yes. because of the person yes. that the word is coming out of. Yes. And you're not hearing yes. the word from the person yes. because you're not getting on the other side. Yes. Oh my God. Stop letting the devil trick you. Stop letting them trick you. That's why some of you are still bound. Because God put us through tests. Come on here. He will use your very to speak a word into your situation. And you just rebuked it because you was mad at that person. Oh, 
Oh, come on here, somebody. Oh, God. When you are free, and when you are totally free, you will receive and you will know what's God and what's not God. And come on here, somebody. Everybody is not ready to do things until the glory of God because they are too caught up in faith. Oh, come on here. Don't you get yourself in the position until you call somebody to stumble because you are too hard headed to give God the glory. After God uses you, oh, come on, this Instead of you pointing them to God, you point them to you. You ain't do nothing. Sit down somewhere and you get delivered and know who is using you. Oh, come on here, somebody. Come on here, somebody. First Corinthians 10 and 23 say, Further believers may have the right to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. All right. Not everything. Not everything. Yeah. Every door is not a God door. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, come on. Everybody is not ready to receive the word God has planted into yes. your spirit yes. to release. Yes. Yes. That's why you have to pray before you yes. receive invitations to go places. Yes. Oh, you may yes. not be like, you may be talked about, but that's all right. I'd rather be talked about than to get in trouble with God. Amen. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Oh, my God. Because Paul was saying, you eating meat that had been dedicated to idols. Ooh. That's why you got to be careful who feeds you a word. Because every word is not a God word. Some of you are receiving from idols because they are on a pedestal. They are these big mega preachers and I ain't got nothing against them because I don't know how they got there but some of you is so caught up with them until you will receive a word from them and God got the same people right here among you but then just because they to your eyesight is nothing in your eyesight but they big in God. That's why God said he is finna put some down and raise some up. This is the season. To him, yeah. a dedication meant nothing uh -huh. since the idols are not real gods. Mm. Yes. However, he will abstain from ever eating meat again mm. for the good of others who yeah. might sin yeah. Yeah. by following his example. Yeah. That's why you got to watch what you do and say. Yeah. Because you know you got people watching you. Uh -huh. right. so right. You got to lead by example. Yeah. You can't tell me for to do this when none of you ain't doing it. Come on, Come on here, somebody. Yeah. A sinner know that Bible. Come on. And they will whoop you up with the Bible. Yeah. That's why you got to know your word before you go to them. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Yes. We as believers, we got to serve the Lord with our yeah. personal life. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Monday through Friday. Right. Yes. Seven days a week. That's right. And we got to show our actions yes, toward one another. Yes, yes. I'm not going to be jealous of nobody. Because I got my own trials I got to go through. Yes, to glorify God. Yes, yes. I got my own stuff I got to deal with. Yes. To glorify God. Yes, yes. I have my own tests I have yes, to uh, yes. handle. For glorify God, yeah. for a testimony yeah, yeah. for somebody else, because how can I have a testimony without a test? So I ain't got time for to be talking about you. I ain't got time to be jealous of you. If honey, anything, I'm gonna help you if the Lord tell me to. Because once He tell me, you not for real. I'm backing off from it. Because the Bible says, how can two walk together yes. except they agree? Because yes. if that you not in agreement yes. with a, what I am in agreement, I love you, but I got to stick up. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Side turn it in. To glorify God yes. requires a full commitment. Yes, yes. it does. Yes. It requires consecration. Mm. Yeah. 
Sanctification. Yeah. Holiness. Yes. Fasting. Yes. Praying. Yeah. Reading your word. Yeah. And watch out now. Loving your enemies. Yeah. 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 Even when you know. Yeah. When God done showed you in the spirit. Yeah. And when you done heard them in the spirit yeah. talking about you. And they coming to hug you. And then God say hug them. And you love on them anyway. Jesus. Say, God, this is my test here, but I'm going to yes. pass. Yes. 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 So, whatever you do, work at it with all yes. your heart yes. uh, as working for the Lord. Come on here. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> to honor a glorified God in everything, everything. including yes. having a strong work ethic. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to go to the jobs. Yes. We're going to go to the jobs. Yes. Whatever you do on Sunday morning here, it should be displayed on that secular job. Oh, my God. Honey, I can go to a Christmas party with my job and they play music. I can sit right there. That's right. Amen. But I know one person who proclaimed God, God help her. She was a minister. She was up there dancing and she was so shamed. No, baby, don't be shamed of me. I see you, but he see you too. That's right. Whatever you display. That's right. Do it, all for you. do it all for the glory of God. Because the glory that is upon your life yes. will pull them in yes. just to uh, accept Jesus Christ. Yes. So if they see you on the dance floor, yes. if they see you at the casino, uh -oh. come on here somebody, Amen. they going to do it too. Amen. Amen. Lord, what is you displaying? That's right. Come on here. Right. What are you displaying Monday through Saturday. Yes. Because you know we got to dress up on Sunday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we got to act like, ooh. <laughs> and the minute we get out the door, we back to right. loose here. Yes, Lord. Monday through yes, Lord. Sunday. Right. Seven days a week. Yes. And let them call you a little holy roller. Yes, Lord. Let them call you a little this and that. Oh, yes, baby, I sure am. Because you don't want me back in the world because I was a hellcat back then. But thank God for salvation. Thank God for deliverance. And don't you know, once you been delivered out of something, the enemy going to tempt you. I don't care how long you have been on this spiritual walk. He is going to come and tempt you. Woo, and he will use anybody he can. Glorifying God in everything means we honor him. In our thoughts. Yes, you, will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sitting up in church wondering what you're going to do at the club. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the church wondering, uh, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to cook once I get home. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting up in the church wondering where I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, you have this man coming on your. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> your thoughts. Right. Amen. And your actions. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to tell you everything you do. Everything. Yes. Glorifies God. Amen. Amen. Everything. Amen. And everywhere you go. Come on. Glorifies Him. Yes. Yes. If you ain't got no business there, don't go. Come don't on. let your good be evil spoken of. Yes. The saints of God are, they are under a fine microscope. Yes, just waiting for somebody just to fall. So they can spread your name all over time. Come on here, somebody. Y'all, our thoughts are to be set on the things of God. And not on the things of this world. And our thoughts should be set on the word of God. And when we focus on God's word, we know what is right. And we can do what is right. Amen. Jesus, he glorified his father in heaven. Yes. Everything he did. There was not a moment he did not glorify God. And we got this thing, we want to be like Jesus. Okay, you want to be like him. He glorified him everywhere he went. Ooh, every thought, every word, every action was totally devoted to the glory of God. Even when he faced, look out, temptations with Satan. Single women, 
Even when you face temptations with a man. Come on here, somebody. If you get in your word and allow that word to enter in your spirit, those thoughts will leave. Come on here, somebody. Come on here. I'm talking to my single sisters. All right, now. Jesus, he quoted the scriptures back to Satan. That's why the more you read, because you got to fight the you got to fight him with the word of God. You can't fight him in the natural. You got to fight the devil with the word of God. That's why you got to quote it back to him. Don't just read the scripture. Study the scripture. Come on. Allow the scripture to revelate in you. Allow the scripture to give you wisdom to open up your spiritual mind. Come on here, somebody. And then and only then will you will overcome every temptation. And you can say, I got this. Come on here. Come on here. And another way we could glorify him is proper treatment of our bodies. Yes. Yes. Our bodies is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And ain't nothing unclean can dwell in this body. Amen. That's it. Not no alcohol, mm -hmm. cigarettes, Come on. wee wee, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> our bodies Come on. is a temple in uh -huh. our bodies. And let me help y'all, even the way we dress. Yes. 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 It should glorify him. Huh. Come on here, somebody. You shouldn't be wearing nothing tight that it be showing everything. Women, come on here. Every hump and bump and uh, everything. Else. Leave that for your husband in the bedroom. Come on here, somebody. Your body should be glorifying God. Oh, come on here, somebody. Oh, my God. He say, do you not know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost? Yes, yes. Who is in you? Whom you have received from God. Mm -hmm. That's God's spirit. Come on here. Uh -huh. Come on here. Hallelujah. You are not your own. Amen. No. no. You're not your own. Amen. Come on here. Once you say God, once you say I yes. accept your son, yeah. mm -hmm. that's it. Yes. You are bought with a price. Yes. Yes. You are no longer your own. Yes. You can get mad all you want to with him, but you still ain't gonna get away. You belong to him. Yes. Therefore, you got to honor him yes. in yes. everything you do. Yes. That's it. And to glorify God yes. in everything, yes. people of God, yes. we must exercise our faith. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Hebrews 11 and 6. Yes. And you got the love yes. without yes. any animosity. Yes. Yes. Romans yes. 12 and 9. And here you go. You got to deny yourself. I think I got to say that again. You got to deny yourself. Luke 9 and 23. To be filled with his spirit. Come on here now. You got to be filled with his spirit. Ephesians 5 and 18. And then you got to offer yourself. Look out now. As a living Sacrifice to God. Romans 12 and 1. I think I better say that again. You got to offer yourself as a living sacrifice unto God. Romans 12 and 1. Every area of your life, every area of your life is important to God. And you must live to the fullest. For the glory yeah. and the honor of God. Yes. People of God, we should strive well, yes. every day, every day. Yes, Lord. to bring glory to God. Because you don't want to be a hindrance to nobody. Yeah. I would rather move out your way if yes, I'm going to be a hindrance to you. Yes. You don't want to be a hindrance because don't you know you have some souls that are required in your hand? God have some people for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. That's right. So do everything mm -hmm. 
unto the glory of God. Amen. Come on and let's give God a hand. Yes. Now, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because we got some people out there when God uses us, we got to learn to be humble. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. We're not taking away from nobody. But when you're hungry for the things of God, and when your heart is receptive, He will use you. Yes, He will. But you must remember it's not me. All right. And I'm not doing it for me. Oh. I'm doing it unto the glory of God. Yes, Lord. And he want everything done until his glory. That's right. This is the season for the saints. This, That's this right. year. That's it. He's getting everybody in order because his son, his son is soon to return. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's soon to return. Mm -hmm. And, oh my God. There is a revival. But it's not in the four walls. All right, all right. The, re the revival is outside. All right. That's where it's at. It's outside, yes, Lord. And he's getting his people prepared. Yes. Amen. To go to the prostitutes. Yes, yes, yes. To the dope bags. Yes. To the lesbians. Yes, yes, yes. To the home. Yes. Homeless, to the homosexuals. Yes. We got to come out of these four walls. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Lord. Because his people is hurting and dying every day. Yes, yes, and they dying without knowing Jesus. Come on, come on. That's it. And when you stand before him, what can you tell him? What can you tell him? Because you are unexcusable. Unexcusable. When you go before God and then God asks you some questions, what can you tell him? All right, all right. I want you to think about it. You have a purpose on this earth. You weren't just born. Everybody don't have to have a title for the sake that God loves you. Amen. 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 You don't have to have a title to speak a word into somebody's life when they're having a bad day. Say that. Come on. God is using anybody that wants to be you. But he wants to get you to a place to where you don't get the big head. Yes. That's right. He wants to get you to a place to where you recognize who using you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, come on here, somebody. That's it. And thank you, Holy Ghost. He wants you to regain that relationship with him because some of you done fell off. Come on. Because I understand when you go through stuff, you get frustrated. Because when you come out of one thing, here come the enemy with something else, or back and forth, back, and you lose your faith. Come on, you somebody. This is not the time for the think you got it all together because we don't. Amen. But God sends people to help you along the way. Yes. Because I guarantee you, what you going through or what you went through, somebody else that already went through it and they can tell you yeah. how to come out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you got to remain humble. Yes. yes. Now, if there's anybody here that don't know Jesus as their personal Savior, you don't have to come to the altar. You can just accept Him right where you at. Ask Him to come into your heart. Forgive you. Denounce your past. And believe that he died and rose again just for you. That's it. That's it. And he will accept you. And I'm not going to tell you it's not hard because once you give your life over to Jesus, that's when the spiritual warfare is going to come. Because Satan done lost one. Yes, yes. And God done gain one. And he's going to be pulling you with the uh, temptations that you just came out of. Mm -hmm. That's his job. Yes, yes. 
But we have prayer warriors to pray with you and to help you. That's how serious this thing is. Because I'm telling you, Satan is cunning. He fools the very elect. Yes, yes, yes. He will bring certain things back to your remembrance when you know God has already forgiven you for that. Yes, yes. But is there anyone that needs prayer on tonight? The altar is open. Or you just find your way to where you just need help along the way. That's what I keep hearing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is room at the cross for me. Yes, Lord. So many have come. Hey, there you go, sister. There is room. Yes, Lord. There is yes, Lord. room at the cross. And I see a cross. Hallelujah. So happy to meet Jesus. Sister Camille, the Lord said you just need to relax. Trying to get to a place that you that he is gonna take you there. Oh, he sees your heart. Yes. He sees the thirst that you. It's like you running after him, like somebody is running after you. It's like you running. Yes. And I know you've been hit this week. I haven't even talked to you, but you've been hit hard this week by the enemy. Yes, Lord. You had got. Your spirit was at ease all last week. You was free last week. And then there was a door open and the enemy came. Bam. God said, you just need to relax. He said, sometimes you just don't say nothing. Don't even bicker back. He said, he is trying to get you. He, he said, he is trying to get you to a place to where you don't talk back. If they want to argue, let them argue. Leave out the room. Don't let them disturb that peace that he gave you last week. Hallelujah. He gave you peace. Hallelujah. And the enemy came. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. The sadness on your face. Thank you. 
Mississippi will be our guest speaker. Amen. Amen. And Saturday night, Pastor Geneva Roberson from Open Door Worldwide Ministries of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, will be ministering on Saturday night. Sunday night will be Jeannie Williams of New Day Holiness Church. So y'all come on back because uh, y'all may be on the floor <laughs> for the next three days. I mean, God is really doing something. He is really doing something. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. I thank everybody for coming here uh, on tonight. Thank the Enets. They drove from Buck. Amen. Grace safe travel and grace back to y'all. Thank everybody for coming on out tonight, y'all. Invite somebody. On tomorrow night and the next few nights, uh, any announcements? Um, yes, I want to make a couple announcements. Uh, I know that you all will be here, here Saturday night for the revival, but we'll have a musical at uh, Design for Jesus Saturday night also. But I just want to make that announcement for those, you know. Uh, on next weekend, starting on the 24th through the 26th, at the Design for Jesus, there will be a women's conference taking place. Uh, it starts at Friday night at 6.30. It's going to be the uh, praise and wor uh, worship service. Men and women can, 
can attend the worship services. But on Saturdays for women only, starts breakfast starts at eight. I think they eight thirty to nine fifteen, and we got classes, different classes. And then uh, six thirty worship service Saturday night, and then Sunday's gonna be at two o'clock service. But uh, like I say, for the class and everything, it's for women only, and it's free to the public. So uh, that's gonna be next weekend, the twenty fourth through the twenty sixth. So you're all invited to come out. Let's have a good time. We got speakers coming from uh, Tennessee, North Carolina, different uh, different places. We got different speakers coming in. So let's come and have a good time, the Lord. You can come be with us. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. I said y'all had a good time. Y'all had a good time today. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I'm just, I'm not gonna I'm just I'm not gonna dismiss y'all. I'm just gonna say until we meet tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. We're gonna have a good time tomorrow as well. Amen. But I'm telling you tonight, woo, she she cooked the cake, baked it up here, sir. So I thank God for it. I enjoyed it and uh y'all and, and uh y'all come back tomorrow and enjoy with us. And uh, I just want to pray for us traveling, Grace. Father, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you protect us back to our destination. And Lord, bless the hands and prepare the food. Let it be nutritious to our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Y'all got beat tonight. No cheese. Amen.